I'm standing in front of the Jacob E. Manch Elementary School. The school is built out of structural insulated panels on its exterior walls, which is a very big energy saving device. This combined with displacement ventilation and 500 skylights for daylighting has saved 50% of the normal energy that a school uses in the Clark County School District. To me, this is a game changer. The first school that I'm aware of that's 100% daylit and operates with electric lights off, as well as using displacement ventilation, as well as many other innovative features that we've included in the school. I'm the project architect. My name is Ken Small. The school is about 70,000 square feet, with the majority of it being new construction and the minority of it being reused existing buildings. spaces in this building are illuminated by daylighting, even the corridors. All the classrooms have daylighting, including windows and skylights, depending on where they are in the building. Outdoor learning areas include this space that's covered for exterior shade in the summertime and has lots of places to sit and learn about shapes and the planets. This amphitheater, in addition to being a place for children to sit and learn, is also a giant sundial to teach children about solar angles and energy through daylight uh, utilization. This outdoor learning area shows how our ancestors could have used the natural environment outdoors and also provides a place for children to learn while enjoying fresh air and sunshine. The tall spaces, the central rooms that the classroom pods are centered around, the classrooms, the great room, and all the big rooms in the building are heated and cooled through displacement ventilation. This saves energy by causing only the bottom portion of the room to be heated and air conditioned and saving energy by not cooling the ceiling area where no one is. Here you see a displacement ventilation duct letting air out at the bottom of the room and it will fill it up just like a fish tank from bottom to top. A major component in the green building concept of this new construction was the salvaging of old buildings. This one was surrounded by new buildings so it's internalized to the entire new classroom building and comprises a portion of two of the pods. We salvaged the entire building after gutting out the walls, saving the exterior walls and the roof, and then the children can see a different construction technology while we were able to save a lot of energy and the environment by utilizing something that's not thrown away. Even the internal classrooms are so well illuminated us utilizing the solar tube skylights that um, many of the teachers will close the windows or close some of the skylights partially to bring the light levels down to what they're comfortable with because uh, we have 500 skylights on the building and uh, that is to provide adequate lighting when it's a little bit cloudy outside or, or uh, later in the day. So right now we're in a classroom that has no lights turned on whatsoever and uh, most of the solar tubes are open all the way, but some are not. And that's a common condition for a normal school day. The plants used on this project don't use much water. That's because we're out in the desert and we need to save water as part of our energy saving and cost saving program. There are lots of uplifting ideas that are included in the interior designs of the school as well as explanations for the children about how things work. While there is lots of artwork that was built with the building, you also see areas where the students and the teachers have contributed also.